These were very fast lights. I would always have these in my quiver. Journey to the Center of the Earth was uh, done about 80% on stage and on blue screen. The topography of the underground terrain was supposed to be never flat. There was a lot of undulation to it and difficult to rig lights, but these barger lights were light enough that you could just, one guy just puts it on his shoulder, carries it, and it's, it's ready. And whenever we needed to have a, any kind of a, a fill or a rim or touch up anything, he could quickly run in one of those to a position where it would work for the, for the camera movement and for the action, but we were able to change the brightness and the size of the chimera. So you don't have a lot of sea stands and flags and sandbags to trip over. The light unit itself is very narrow, so you can get into narrow, um, small, tight locations and still have a big, soft light. It takes into account how much weight you're going to have on the front. A grid, like a um, honeycomb grid, it's made to handle all that. I, I can give an example of, uh, we have a shot over the shoulder looking out uh, two people at the door, and I needed some skylight over them, behind them as blue screen. I could just ask for a chimera with a barger light directly overhead. They can put it up very quickly, it's light, it doesn't take a lot of support equipment. And that means I can call for <clears throat> the quality of light in the place I need it very quickly.